going back, I'm curious from, from you three, in putting together that mystery that ended up spanning you know, five and a half seasons, how much did you have mapped out from day one, or at least from the, the early stages? Well, the first two years was, was mapped out. We, we always try to know the end before we start at the beginning uh, to, to prevent as many you know, mistakes as possible and, and stay true to the mystery story. So it was the same. We knew the story of Mona being original A when, when we started season one, and we knew the story of, of Charlotte uh, when we started the next uh, group of the next mystery. Very cool. Um, and then uh, along the way, was there anything that sort of changed? Like you were going to do one thing one way, and then you kind of... There always is, because there's the vagaries of production, of casting. Of, you, have a, you have a clear path you want to take, but you have to be protean in the sense that you're doing a production, you know, and you have, not everybody's under contract and all those kind of things. You have the different factors you deal with, but you have a very clear idea of what it, where you're going, the tent poles, and you try to follow those breadcrumbs. Yeah. And you know, there might be this, uh, uh, a situation where you want a character to be a suspect for four or five episodes, right. but then you lose them after two episodes because they got on another show. So we there's, have to pivot. Yeah, that's there's the, a, there's mm. the lake metaphor, which is basically you can see the, you know where you're going on the other side of the lake when you leave the dock, but as you cross it, you might see someplace interesting that you want to go to. So as long as you've got enough supplies, you can get there. <laughs> I'm, always, I'm always up for a good boat metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> we've used them in the show. Came to the right place. We've used them. We've used them. We've sunk Hannah's them. Hannah's hit somebody with an oar. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah's hit people with a lot of stuff. I water mean. is water is very <laughs> important. Yes. Water shows up a lot on our show. Yeah. Um, for for you four, I'm wondering. You know, going down the line, there have been so many huge, you know, reveals, breakups, surprises. I feel like my my biggest surprise was finding out that uh, you know Cece dated her brother. Um, <laughs> It was a surprise to him, too, apparently. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, for, for you four, kind of uh, down the line, really, for the whole show, what were the biggest things that you that would surprise you at, at the table reads, or, or if you found out earlier? Um, I don't know why that noise just came out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Troyan, you want to kick this Why one Why do you always kick it down to That's me? I'm thinking. I want to have a good answer. I'm thinking. Troyan's the smartest one. Yeah. So, so I just got it already. It's alphabetical. Okay, it's alphabetical. Um, I guess I, uh, I, I would have to say still when Toby was, or when Spencer thought that Toby was A. Um, yeah, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I think it's it sucks, right? right? Um, so I, yeah, I would say that that was probably the most surpri surprising only that when I found out that that they were gonna take the show in that direction, I was like, wow, I, I can't believe we're taking this risk. Toby was, is such a beloved character by my character as well. So, you know, to see how we were gonna go through that whole storyline was very surprising in a really good way. Mm. It's fun to see you look crazy too. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs>